You know, the great challenge is how do we feed humanity without destroying the planet? Our mission is to build a future in which people live in harmony with nature. And what that really means is saving the most important places on Earth. And one of the coolest things we're doing is something called Eyes on the Forest. Google Earth Builder gives us the ability to take all this information that we have crammed in computers all over the world and to get it up on the cloud and to serve it up in a platform where people can ask for the information they want and use it to tell stories that are powerful. The data we used on the Eyes on the Forest website comes from various scientific studies done across the island of Sumatra over the last few decades. Uh, some of it is based on satellite imagery analysis and some of it is studies in the field. The data was supplied by the WWF in shapefile format and we uploaded it to Google Earth Builder. Google Earth Builder can work with both rasters and vector data. We ended up using mostly vectors for this project because the functionality suited the kind of map that we wanted to build. If you look around the world, only 30% of Borneo and Sumatra are left. It is the most endangered forest on Earth and you better not blink because it's disappearing right in front of our eyes. The challenge is getting that information out there into the hands of people where they can use it. My favorite advantage of using Google Earth Builder for this project is the scalability. We were able to take gigabytes of shape files and make them available on a map where anybody can explore them in a web browser. Once the data has been uploaded to Builder, the process is very straightforward. You can create uh, different styles and colors for the layers and then group layers together to map and after that you're pretty much ready to publish. And in the context of Sumatra that means knowing where the populations of rhinos and tigers and elephants are, where the communities are, where the park boundaries are. And our conviction is that if people have that information that the forest of Sumatra will not just be saved but we can restore them. And my hope is that this project will play a small part in making sure that happens. So instead of the numbers getting smaller every year, they get bigger. That's our dream.